Today we're taking a quick look at the Nucleus N2, which is Tilta's brand new wireless follow focus system. Featuring a new touchscreen display, support for up to three lens control motors, and the ability to change select camera settings directly from the unit itself, the N2 is a huge upgrade over the original Nucleus N and even integrates some of the pro features found in the much more expensive Nucleus M system. But that touchscreen is definitely the most noticeable change over Tilta's previous follow focus systems. When powered on, it allows you to clearly see all of your settings to dial in your focus, set A and B points, and also monitor your zoom and iris controls if you have multiple motors configured. But swiping to the left or the right reveals two additional sets of control parameters, lens calibration and camera control. In select Canon, Sony, and RE cameras, at least at launch, the N2 will be able to wirelessly connect and control settings like your f-stop, ISO, and white balance, which is perfect for situations where your camera is on a crane or otherwise inaccessible, but you still need to tweak some settings. On the other end of the control wheel menu, you have access to Tilta's lens profile system, which will allow you to calibrate specific lenses and then save them to the N2 itself, which is a huge time saver for those changing lenses multiple times during a shoot. On the N2 unit itself, you can control two different lens motors at once. The primary control wheel for focus is available similar to the original Nucleus N, but you also have a rocker on top to control your zoom if you have a second motor connected to your lens. And when paired to an optional tilt to control grip for Ronin gimbals, you get access to a third wheel to control iris as well. One big change over previous systems is that the N2 runs on an internal battery that supports fast charging via USB-C. Tilta says you'll get about seven hours of battery life with constant active use, which nobody's actually ever doing on a set, meaning that realistically, getting through a 12 hour shoot day should be no problem. Lastly, at the top of the unit, you get a switch that allows you to bounce between Tilta Focus and DJI Focus for Ronin gimbals. With Tilta Focus, you get hard stops on the wheel itself, but when paired with DJI motors, the DJI Focus will allow the wheel to spin indefinitely. Speaking of control motors, the N2 features an improved one that is smaller than before, yet possesses even more torque. At the top, you get one USB-C port for power delivery, and then you get a second one that will allow you to daisy chain multiple motors together. But one really cool benefit of the Nucleus N2 system is that it's compatible with previous Nucleus N, Nucleus M, and Tilta Mirage motors, meaning that it will play nicely with any Tilta system you've already invested in if you just want to add some of the individual components of the N2. And that's a very quick look at the new Nucleus N2 follow focus system. It's a pretty substantial upgrade from their previous Nucleus N, and it makes setting up and using a wireless follow focus system easier for beginners and faster for professionals, making it a great solution for any video shooter who pulls focus manually. But what do you think of the new Nucleus N2? Let us know in the comments below. Seriously, we do read them. I'm Nick with B&H. Stay creative.